Hello. Uh, this video is at the uh, Coconut Creek Butterfly Festival, and this part is during the concert where there's a Guns N' Roses tribute band called uh, Bed of Roses playing. And, uh, you know, they did a good job. Um, but you can't hear anything but them during this video. And it'll probably flag me for copyright infringement, so heck, I figure I might as well leave super secret messages to my son for when he grows up. Uh, given something happens to me, he'll be able to watch this video and say, and see what uh, his papa had to say. Um, anyway, so the video really is uh, just him and, and his friends playing while we watch the concert at uh, Butterfly Festival, uh, Coconut Creek throws uh, once a year and um, is uh, quite a bit of fun. So, uh, in any case, so what super secret message should I leave for the boy? Uh, this, these messages are left, uh, you know, under the assumption that maybe I won't be there to give him advice as he grows up and so he could listen to this and perhaps get a little advice. I don't know if he would uh, listen to me if I was alive or listen to me on the video recording, but eh, I'll leave it anyway. So what topic? Hmm. How about politics? That's a good one. Eh. Nah. Nah. Well, let's not do politics. We'll go with um, girls. There's a good one. All right. So, what advice would I give you about girls? Well, I'd say don't chase the ones that don't like you, because that's a waste of effort and time. I would say focus on the ones that seem to like you because uh, it's a lot less effort and they're more likely to appreciate you given that you're uh, dating them. You're not going to listen to me anyway because I think it's human nature that uh, the ones that are hard to get are a challenge and you chase. <laughs> the ones that are easy to get aren't such a challenge so you don't chase. But who knows, maybe you get lucky and find one. But there's a few things you should probably look for when you're... Um, getting involved in such things and the obvious one is uh, are you attracted to them but uh, that should certainly not be the most important one I would say honesty is important so if you notice she's lying to her parents and her friends and she ain't gonna have any qualms lying to you and uh, you get in a relationship where your partner's lying and stuff and it's just doomed you know, it's going to be a big mess. So that's probably pretty important that you can trust that they're not going to lie to you. and Not going to humiliate you by banging your best friend. So um, I'd, I'd look at that. And the best way to tell is to see is she deceptive with other people. So um, let's see. Other things to look for is... Um, their ability to contribute you know how are they going to contribute uh, to your relationship uh, is it uh, you know are they going to parasite or are they going to um, you know be an earner so uh, you know some women want to go through life as the trophy wife and um, you know, unless you're doing really well, uh, it's going to be difficult to handle uh, in uh, life, having a trophy wife. First of all, those kind of women aren't really very productive. You know, often they're just using you for your money anyway, and yada, yada. I think you'd want a woman that uh, wants to contribute to society herself, you know, not just walk around and you know try to impress people or whatever so um 
Yeah, I mean, are they trying to get good grades in school? Or they say, yeah, I want to be a veterinarian and really going for that? I would look at that. That's pretty important, buddy. Um, another real important deal is wearing uh, condoms. For a couple reasons. Uh, the easiest, obvious reason is, um, you know, you don't want to spawn a child. You know, if you end up having a kid, there's a million bucks out of your pocket. So unless you got a million dollars in your pocket, uh, you probably want to avoid that. Plus, you'll be stuck with that girl in one way or another throughout the next 18 years paying her child support and so forth. So, um, and very, you know, depending on the age, you probably won't be necessarily marrying that person. I would, and, and you got to be careful because some of these girls, you know, might want to uh, get pregnant as a way to uh, hook into you. So I would definitely, you know, wear the rubbers. Another thing is the diseases. Some of them are rather nasty. Um, you know, a few of them can be cured with antibiotics, but uh, some of them can't. You get herpes, it's for life. And that's not pleasant. Uh, uh, stick the rubber on. Be careful until, you know, you're going to get married. Uh, and there it is, the marriage. So that's the big one. What are you going to do here? A lot of people jump into that marriage thing. To be honest with you, in today's world, it's almost pointless. There's a lot of penalties, actually, for being married. Um... You know, if your wife doesn't make as much money as you or doesn't work, uh, she would be eligible for many of the government's benefits programs that a lot of single women uh, get. As soon as you marry her, she's no longer eligible. So while that seems shady to go that route, and I do agree with that, uh, it's a little bit weird that getting married actually penalizes you from getting certain benefits and even possibly tax uh, issues uh, but beyond that it's a contract it's very very difficult to get out of it's a huge huge decision so my suggestion is live with the woman for five years before marrying her and before having kids make sure make sure this person is going to contribute to your partnership uh, because if she doesn't you know you're going to regret it you see these people it seems like people are jumping into marriages jumping out and you know, posting all over Facebook and it's miserable I mean me personally I wouldn't do it again now, I'm happy I married your mom, you know, mostly because we created you. That's the single best thing, but she's a good mom, and she's honest um, for the most part. <laughs> uh, you know, she's got a lot of good attributes, and you got to keep that in mind. Not everybody's perfect, um, but we lived together for years before we got married, so I was pretty sure. Not that that's necessarily the reason we waited, but um, I don't know. I'd just be real careful about that. Unless you find your life partner and you know you're going to be with them for the rest of your life. Uh, I don't, uh, I wouldn't take that step very lightly. Uh, so, <clears throat> that's just about it. I mean, if I'm alive and you're dating, I'll be, uh, you know, throwing you advice as I can. I'll be like, um, you know, what does she want to be? How's her grades in school? Is she's getting crappy grades and she's got all the nose rings and tattoos and stuff going. I mean, her... I mean, these are indicators here of the possibility that this person might be on the route to being a stripper uh, versus a veterinarian or a doctor. And 
I would avoid the strippers. Not that I have anything against the strippers. I just think that traditionally they're not holding very well to marriages. Uh, versus, you know, somebody who is a little bit more focused on their lives and, and so forth. So keep it in mind, these girls might appear attractive to you, you know, wild girls and doing this and that. But, uh, you know, a couple of years down the road when things aren't going so well because of that kind of personality that they have, you'll be banging your head against the wall. So, that uh, just about concludes my thoughts on the girls and the and the marriage and stuff and well just want you to know you I love you a lot E and uh, I hope whatever you do you make really good decisions in life and uh, you know I'll be watching you if I'm here and even hopefully if I'm not here I have some ability to watch you I don't know if that's the case I'll let you know <laughs> maybe <laughs> all right I'm down to about 20 seconds for those of you who listen to this entire message I'm impressed I don't think I would have been able to listen to that entire message <laughs> unless of course you eat them and if you listen to the entire message Thanks, son. Alright, coming to an end here. Good day to all of you.